Welcome back to the DMW YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the 300 chassis extension on the Land Cruiser 79 and the pros and cons that go along with it. And look, they're such a popular, popular thing to do to the 79 because what it does, it actually transfers some of the weight to the front axle. Not like the short ones, where the, the actual standard length 79, where they you've got the big long tray and all that sort of stuff and it's filled with gear and it sort of pig roots down the road. That's the biggest thing people don't quite understand is that, yeah, you can go off a you know, big GVM out, 44.99 on the 79 short series, but where do you put the weight? The weight has to overhang past the rear axle, doesn't it? You know, when you put the 300 chassis extension in, the weight is distributed on the vehicle so much better. So that's the number one thing that really helps the 79 with the 300 chassis extension. The second thing is, you get your wheel further back, obviously, for the load carrying, and it doesn't have all this overhanging here where all your weight's sitting. And that's on the short version of the 79, that's what happens. It gets all the weight over that section and sort of pops the front wheels up and all that sort of stuff. In my silver 79 that you've seen on 4 Drive 24-7 or other videos we've done, I've left that short, but that's for different reasons. Not everybody's going out wheeling hard tracks all the time. I've chassis braced that car, I've got four and a half ton GVM on that car, but I keep most of my weight as far forward as possible, and the only things really hanging over the back is my kitchen unit in the back and the tires. So it's a completely different setup for different reasons. But if you're gonna to be touring, I can't stress enough, the 300 chassis extension on the 79 will make a massive difference to how your vehicle drives and how you're gonna be able to load it and what you're gonna be able to you know, tow as well. Because when you've got the longer chassis extension, you're obviously gonna have downbore weight as well, which is going to make the car feel uneasy. The 300 chassis extension just gives it that extra feel of stability. Now, when we do the 300 chassis extension, We've got some big chassis stiffeners that go up the side there. There's lots of different things. People have seen bent chassis and all that sort of jazz. Especially with the four and a half ton, 300 chassis extension, those chassis bracing is an absolute must. We don't want to see any of our products bent in the middle down the road at all. Some cons, turning circle is suffered when uh, you do the 300 chassis extension. Look, if anyone knows 79s, they don't have the best, <laughs> best turning circle anyway. But uh, yeah, when you throw a 300 chassis extension in it, they get a little bit worse. Now there's a few little mods you can do to your uh, lock to lock steering functions underneath the car. You can buy some aftermarket products to help with that. That all helps, but you know, you just gotta keep in mind that the chassis extension isn't going to give you a better turning circle. So yeah, there's a few sacrifices that you've gotta make. They're a little bit longer if you're city driving and all that sort of jazz, trying to reverse park or whatever else. But look, predominantly, you put a 300 chassis extension in your dual cab 79 because you want to go touring out west or all over the countryside, wherever you feel, to carry a few, bit more gear and to do it a lot more comfortably. And you know, the GVM is the biggest thing. I know in other videos I've chatted about the wheel track correction. I mean, that if you get a four and a half ton GVM with us, whether it's a shorter version of the 79 standard length, I should say, or the 300 chassis extended, we do the diff correction because that actually saves a whole lot of other issues as well. They track down the road, especially if you're on some older bitumen roads that have been worn right in, you really notice the back end when they haven't been track corrected. They sort of walk up and down that ridge in the road. And uh, yeah, this just prevents all that. So four and a half ton GVM, you get all the chassis stiffness, you get the track correction, the 300, extension, I can't stress enough, it just makes the car drive so well. If I wasn't wheeling hard tracks in that silver 79, I would have the chassis extension in it because it just drives so much better down the road. Now, the other reason a 300 chassis extension is so good on a 79 is you get more tray space, you know? Absolutely fabulous for that. And the best thing about having more tray space is that you get to load it up with all your best camping gear or whatever else you're gonna do down the road or work gear, whatever. I'm not saying that the short or the standard length 79 is no good to do the big four and a half ton GVM to. It's just you have to be mindful of how you load the vehicle. Well, thank you for watching. And I hope I explain the chassis extensions and the GVMs well enough for you guys. But if I haven't answered any of your questions, okay, or all of your questions, could you please comment below and we'll get back to you with the relevant information. So cheers, catch you on the next one.